contact. Good no call. Hey guys, well, as you can see by the title, today we're going to be going over, in my opinion, the, the dirtiest player in the NBA. And we're going to go deeper into the situation with this player and try to prove that this player is intentionally trying to hurt other players. So if you don't know already who this player is, I'm talking about the one, the only, Zaza Pachulia. Now, if you're an NBA fan, then you know that this dude has a history of intentionally hurting people. Well, has a history of hurting people. And some people think that he's intentionally doing it. Some people just think that he's innocent. But in this video, I'm gonna argue that Zaza is trying to intentionally injure other players. And let's just go into the clips and let's just seek out all the information we can get. <laughs> So in this video right here, it actually happened very recently if you're watching on Sunday, it happened yesterday. The Warriors went up against the Thunder and Zaza Pachulia fell on Russell Westbrook and uh, we're just going to sneak in and try to see how So happened. as we can see in this clip right here, Russell Westbrook went hard at the paint, Nick Young grabbed the rebound, Russell Westbrook then fell down and then I'm going to put this in extra slow motion so you guys can see. Zaza Pachulia decided to aim for Russell Westbrook's knee and throw his whole body onto his leg. Now, as we can see here, no one's behind Zaza. He didn't trip on anything. Nothing happened. He just fell on Russell Westbrook. I don't know how anybody could plead their case and say that this wasn't intentional. Because look, right here, Zaza is standing straight up. No one's pushing him. And then he just decides to lean forward. His eyes are looking directly at Russell Westbrook's knee and then puts all his body weight on his leg and just crushes him. Then he just casually gets up and walks away without saying anything. And we have another piece of evidence here. So not from this clip, but I'm just gonna ask a question. Have you guys ever seen Zaza fall on a player that's not the opposing team's star player? I mean, he fell on Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook a second time. He's had some issues with a lot of players, but there's not one player that wasn't their star player. Now let's get to the second clip of evidence. So in this one, this was when the Warriors were going up against the Spurs. And as we all know, this is a big play in NBA history. Zazas fell on Kawhi Leonard, also the star player on the opposing team. Also one of the star players in the entire league. He fell on his ankle. And that forced Kawhi Leonard to be out for the rest of that season. Okay, so I'm gonna also put this one extra slow motion for you guys. We can see that Zaza goes to contest the shot, then takes another step right where Kawhi Leonard was landing. He just takes another step just for no reason. We, his momentum wasn't forcing him to take that other step. He just stopped. And then he decided to take another step. Like right here. Boom, he just steps on Kawhi Leonard's foot and that forces him to be out for the rest and, of the season. And like, what is Kawhi Leonard supposed to do? Look how little room Zaza gives Kawhi to land. No NBA player does that just naturally. They have to be forcing to do that. They have to be like wanting to only give the player a little bit of space to intentionally foul. So anyways guys, that'll do it for this video. That's all we're gonna be covering today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that Zaza is a dirty player or is he not? Um, I want to know what you guys think. I like having discussions with you guys in the comments. Anyways, for elaborates, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for 600. I love how I'm saying thanks for 600 when we're already halfway to 700. Like, that's crazy. Our channel's growing super fast. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been elaborates. I'm out.